be who God has called you to be and you'll set the world on fire. And I think here at Nativity Parish, our operation Starfish partnered with Food for the Poor, how we become a light shining in the darkness. God has entrusted to us abundant blessings, especially here in the United States. And for the people of my parish, their involvement in Operation Starfish is something they're very proud of. It is a way of living their faith. We're doing what we're supposed to be doing as Christians. It makes you feel good as a parishioner. It makes you feel like you're making a difference. We hear what differences it has made already, but we know there's a lot more to do. The power of partnership with Food for the Poor enables churches in the United States to reach out to the poor in developing countries and transform their lives. We're trying to turn the face of the church here in America to the face of the church in the third world. We're working through the churches as much as we can because they are a great, great help and they understand the poor. They understand the poverty. What would it mean for you to have a nice home? What she's saying basically a new house would mean the world to her. Um, she would be praying every day. You know, I've got four kids and, you know, what must it feel like to not be able to feed your kids and, uh, you know, not be able to give them a house. You can be the hands of God lifting desperately poor families out of poverty. This is the Javerse Ser family and they are the recipients of this house from Food for the Poor. I was under the rain and Food for the Poor in the donors took me out of the rain and have a house and I want to say thank you. And I am praying the Lord so those who don't have a house will someday get a house also because there are a lot of us who don't have a house around here. In the name of the Father and of the Son, Amen. Churches from all over the United States are reaching out to serve our brothers and sisters in Christ. Bless you. My heart is full. <laughs> and these people here today are blessing us beyond our wildest imagination. The congregation at Church of the Nativity has reached far beyond their home of Burke, Virginia, to the most remote parts of Haiti to touch the lives of desperately poor families. I am standing in a house where a family lived for many years. It's made of wood and thatch roof, and you could imagine the difficulty and the hardship this family endured living here, exposed to the elements, to the rain, to the wind. Um, but now, just a few steps away, this family and their lives have been transformed as they were able to move into a new home that Food for the Poor has built at the new Good Shepherd Village. And this is the beautiful family that now lives in their new home. We really would like to say food for the poor. Thank you for this blessing, for this house. Because as you can see, you've seen where we were living before and now how we are living in a better house, a better home. So we would like to really thank you and thank God. Merci, <laughs> Ampilui. Okay, merci, merci. Amen. Father Martin launched the Operation Starfish program more than 20 years ago. His goal? To give the poorest of the poor hope for a brighter future. This is hope, and it's hope once again realized. And what we have done here is living what church is all about outside the building where we really live the gospel message. <laughs> Father Martin's legacy lives on as his parish and the villages that they have built continue to thrive. What you give to the poor comes back to you uh, tenfold. He asked the people to start giving small change, loose change, and that, uh, uh, that moved from being just loose change to uh, larger amounts of money to the point where we're building an entire village. Like the people of Nativity Parish give so generously to food for the poor, they believe in it. And as a pastor, you might think that might take away from um, their generosity to the parish, but just the opposite happens. 
the generosity to the parish and to all of our other works has increased as their generosity to food for the poor has increased. A high tide rises all boats. The church has been inspired to add sustainable projects like fishing and farming to their villages. So you can put things on paper, you can kind of scope out the project and donate, but until you see actual people, like what we're seeing now and, and who we're helping, it's real, it's real emotional and it, it touches you in a beautiful way, beautiful way. In America, we're very privileged. And when we came here, we thought that we could help you. Instead, you helped us realize what true love is about. Missions are also a great way to give the youth of your church hands-on experience meeting the families that they have helped. It makes us so happy to be able to give you these keys. Now it's not just like a picture on the wall of my church, it's here's a little girl that I'm actually helping and it's awesome. Food for the Poor is incredible with the funds that we raise. To see that the money we give it's just given in this little collection basket. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. And then to go to Haiti and see that all those collection baskets are adding up to houses and wells and animal husbandry projects. Food for the poor will stretch every dollar you raise. Thank you. Food for the Poor is consistently ranked among the top charities by watchdog organizations like Ministry Watch, and the Better Business Bureau. Churches of any size can join Food for the Poor on our mission. It doesn't take much to start making a change in the lives of the poor. A single water well can transform an entire community. A single house can change a family's destiny for generations to come. What you see here is what Christ would ask of us. These are his children, these are his people. What are we doing about it? In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 God bless you. We have a need to give back to God in praise and thanksgiving and in a spirit of gratitude. If you think there's an area of your parish that's missing, an area that's missing and maybe sharing with the poorest of the poor globally throughout the world, um, food for the poor, partnering with them, I believe is your answer. You will be richly blessed. You will be storing up um, treasures in heaven. And it will become a light that shines on everything that you do in your parish. Praise